Hey, Brian here from Desert Fabworks and CNC Plasma Info. I just wanted to show you a couple of tricks and things I've added to my plasma table. Um, this is the Westcott Pro Series 5x10 plasma table. And we have this metal console up here where the computer is. And I've got these wire baskets uh, that are magnetic. I um, got these off Amazon and just clip to the side here. I have a basket for storing my extra uh, nozzles and things for the PowerMax 85. Uh, some hook, magnetic hooks up here for my sheet metal gauge. I've got a place to hang my glasses, things like that. Works really well for, for keeping things organized, pens and pencils on the side. Um, just has worked well for me. One of the other things I did is along here, um, when you're loading material at this end or taking something off, it's a lot of times it's going to chew up the, the table. So I got a piece of aluminum angle and put it across here. This acts kind of like a, a sacrificial edge. So I don't chew up the, the table, I can slide stuff across it, and when it eventually wears out, I can always just take it and pop it off and put a new one on. It's just on there with uh, some uh, 3M VHB tape holding it in place. Uh, what else do I have? Um, so I've got some of these blocks along here. There's some thick metal plate. I can put them on for stuff I don't want to move around or something starts to warp on me. I can set those on the pieces of sheet metal and hold it down. I've also got a squaring gauge that I made up. So this gauge you can take and use to take and square up material really easily. Uh, the critical part is building it and making sure it's square once you, uh, once you, when you design it and build it. But it takes and goes in here and sits on this edge and comes up flush. And then I can slide my material up along these pieces here. There's space across there. And I know that my material is square to the table and everything uh, goes on there good. It's got some magnets on the bottom of it. If I put it up here, it uh, locks back in place on the table. Okay, so a couple other things I did is these hoses down here, but I, I have one for water and one for air. So when I take and uh, cut a piece, like I just finished cutting this, this piece here for LAPD, and when I'm done with it, it's kind of got some of the, the remnants from the, the cut on it. It's, it's kind of dirty. And so what I can do is come over here and get my water nozzle. And I've got a little remote control keychain over here. And it turns on the pump. And I'll show you that in a minute. And it draws the water from the table reservoir and puts clean um, fluid on the top so I can rinse off the stuff. So I turn it on. And I can take and rinse off my, my piece. I can take and get it all cleaned off. Turn my pump off. When I'm done with it, put it back over here. And I can come over to my air nozzle. And I can take and blow the, blow the piece off and kind of dry it right there on the table. So it works really well for keeping the, uh, we use the Sterling Cool uh, plasma cutting fluid. And so we want to retain as much of that in the table as possible. And I don't want to take and bring dirty stuff out. So I can take and clean it really easily here and it doesn't transfer as much out of the table and I uh, can go off and work with a, a piece that's pretty much clean and ready to go for me. So those just store right there. So uh, let's head around to the back of the table and I'll take and show you uh, how I hooked up that. that okay, pump so here's the back of the table where I have the pump system set up. Right over here is a 12 volt pump. It's just tiny like you'd have in a, an RV or something like that, but on the, on the smaller end, also got that uh, from Amazon. Doesn't have to be a high volume or high pressure. It's just enough to take in, rinse off the pieces. Since it's 12 volt, I have a little adapter over here that takes and takes my AC power, converts it over to DC. Now my high tech antenna holder right here that keeps my antenna uh, up so I can uh, get a good signal. This hose here leads into the uh, fluid reservoir of the table, comes down here, goes through a little filter and a screen before it goes into the pump. And then the line goes down to uh, the table where we saw it on the other end. And then this light up here is when I take and turn it on, it flashes and lets me know and reminds me that, hey, you got the pump turned on right now. And so I can see it from the other end and I know to take and remember to turn it off. But it's a pressure demand pump. So once it reaches uh, the pressure, it doesn't run continuously. So if I did forget to, to uh, turn it off, it's not going to hurt the pump or, or burn out because it's the demand style. So those are the uh, couple of tips and uh, tricks that uh, I have on my table. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.